because science and the scientific method is constant open discussion. Not only this is productive to understand nature and create new things, inventions that make our lives better for sure, but it is also a good way to approach other aspects of society and our own lives. When one is having a scientific discussion with colleagues, who are often also hopefully friends, uh, it is a refreshing and inspiring situation because even though you can be passionate about it, you do care about your own hypothesis and interpretation, of course, you are a human being, but you should avoid being egotistic. It is not about who is right or wrong, but about searching for the right answers together. Nobody will lose this battle because the end point is always a good answer, a better understanding or at least a better definition of the relevant questions. It is important to hear all the arguments, even if we don't like them or strongly disagree with them in principle. And it is okay to change your mind, even several times in the same conversation. You are trying to get things straight, to learn in the process. This is, I think, this is an amazing power that we have as humans to put our brains at work together and get much farther than we would on our own. And also, well, <laughs> having so much more fun. So, well, yeah, I wish we could do the same with all aspects of life and society. To simply sit and argue with no fears, prejudices or forbidden, forbidden arguments, in a respectful way, of course, and building, build a, a path towards a possible agreement. In the process, we may learn about how other people think and about how to think differently ourselves. So in my opinion, a scientific culture is not just important, but essential to live a happy, interesting and authentic life and to even continue existing as a species. My job is science. I am a university teacher in physics and a researcher in quantum optics, that is the interaction between light and matter at the quantum level. So in my daily life, I get to play with mathematical concepts and formulas, solve riddles, have great discussions with colleagues and hopefully understand better, for instance, how to create quantum light in a lab. So my working hours are spent mostly in these scientific endeavors. Then of course, as a human being, I am a receiver of the technological advances of my era. So I have a comfortable, safe and fulfilling life thanks to what science and technological development has produced, for sure. But also I feel I bring the scientific perspective into my personal life as well, as much as possible. For instance, in the way I raise my two daughters, I try to encourage them to speak freely, ask questions, look for answers, be creative in their thinking, and to actually create new things if possible that could be technological or artistic. So rather than, than being just mere passive receivers and consumers of knowledge, products, entertainment, so I hope that they do not shy away from new challenges or problem solving. I would like that they are rational people that can navigate arguments, existing evidence and experience to make the, be the best decisions in their lives. And well, I think that's a very fulfilling and good way to enjoy science. <laughs>